on the left side of your Dennis Ugas. Oh, well, everybody know who I want next. I want Terrence Crawford next. You're going to make that happen? Huh? You're going to make that happen? Oh, definitely. That's the fight that I want. That's the fight everybody else wants. Like I said, I'm going to get these straps and I'm going to go over there and take his shit too. All right. Errol, congratulations. Terrific fight this evening. Thank you. Man down. Strap season. I know what time it is, baby. Terrence, I'm coming for that motherfucking belt. It's free smoke, Junior. They already know what time it is. T. Buck Crawford. Yeah. Everybody know who the champion is at 147, who the king is. And he's too small. He's too small. He's little. He light in the ass. Hey, look. He light in the ass. Ain't nobody say Floyd was light in the ass. He's light in the ass. Not Floyd. Hey, I told you I was going to pull up on hey. the <laughs> Hey, You was really not ready. Hey, look. I love it. Hey, look. I love it. I told him I wasn't that word. I told him I wasn't that word. This ain't no Keith Thurman shit. That's what we be scared. How I look at the wind? What you talking about now? How I look at the wind? It's fat. Well, how I look at the wind? Yeah. I guarantee I'm a Christian. Grab that. I guarantee you. Yeah. I don't try to go to the body. Don't you talk from the side. Don't you try that little. Hey, Jack. Yeah, you ain't doing this, man. Let them talk. Hey, no sidebar. No sidebar. No sidebar. No sidebar. Let them talk. Ain't nobody talking from the side. Ain't nobody talking from the side. Why you ain't gotta talk? Well, talk to me. It don't matter. Don't talk to him. Tell your nigga be quiet. Talk to me. Tell your nigga be quiet. Talk to me. Tell your nigga to be quiet. Talk to me. Tell your nigga to be quiet. Now you talking to me. Tell your nigga to be quiet. Back to what we was talking about. Whatever. Try that body shot. It don't matter. I'm not gonna stop you. Easy. That shit gonna be easy work. I promise you. I'm sorry. It don't matter. I'm gonna knock you out, bro. You getting hurt. That's fact. You got hurt by getting bull. You got hurt by getting bull. Yeah. You got hurt by a campo. You got hurt by a campo. Who ever got hurt by a campo? And you got hurt by a campo. And you got hurt by a campo. When? We see. We see you get wobbly, lay. Wobble. We see you get wobbly. Then what? We see you. It don't matter. It don't matter. Wait till I hit you. Wait till I hit you. Wait till I hit you. You gonna sleep? You gonna look like? my life. You gonna look like Benavidez? Who? You. He had one leg. You gonna look like he had one leg. He had one leg. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make one leg. Thank you, lay. I, go, I, am I am the boogeyman. I am the boogeyman. What is next for Tony? No, no, no. He's a man. The boogeyman. No, I am the boogeyman. No, boogie 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 I'm the boogeyman. Who? He can't be the boogeyman. I'm the dog of the division. If I'm, if I'm, if I'm, I'm, I'm chasing I'm the, him, I'm the dog of the division. I'm the boogeyman. Of the you can't be the boogeyman if I'm chasing you. I'm that guy. Everyone knows I'm that guy. You're not that guy. I'm that guy. Numbers don't lie, and I'm the number one guy. You're not the number one guy. Numbers don't lie. You're not the number one guy. Everybody got ESPN. Everybody got ESPN. Terry, who's the better man. basketball player? Me, you, me. Or, or, Anything or, or, about him is me. Me, me. You can ask Bron who the best basketball player. And I killed him for the bread. You him and Bron his boys. <laughs> you asked Bron who the best. Hey, I asked all the money. And I killed him for the bread. Easy work. He didn't want to play me one-on-one. I killed him too. He didn't want to play me one-on-one. -on -one. I played one-on-one. -on -one. That's, what, that's what we were supposed to be in there after our fights. But we, you go to Colorado and oh, I'm not going over there. <laughs> so I got to come to Texas. You can why not? Uh, all the Dallas fighters go to Omaha. Huh? All the Dallas fighters go to Omaha. I fight a job to I don't take nobody. They, 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 come, they come to us. I was only doing know. something that you need our fighters. We don't need nobody. <laughs> they trying to find something on me. It's obvious. Cool. obvious. <laughs> if, if, if you look at the statistics, they coming to us. They trying to find something on me. They coming to us. We ain't going to them. They, they coming to us. They trying to find something on me. They can't find nothing. I like them though. Now they want to say. Now they want to say. They can't find nothing. Omaha. Omaha. He moving to Dallas. You can say that. Cause it's a lot of a whole bunch of Omaha people. Yeah, we done ran into. Come fight at the Cowboy Stadium. Yeah, we know. Come fight at the Cowboy Stadium. Yeah, we know. Come fight at the Cowboy Stadium. Come and fight at uh, you know what I'm saying? Come fight at y'all on the pack at ten thousand. Come on. Who? Come on, the Cowboy Stadium. Hey, look, look, look. We go to Vegas. Hey, look, look, look. We go to Vegas. We go neutral. Yeah, we go there. Vegas or New York. And then when I stop, they gonna say he's too small. Hey, so, 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 when I stop him, y'all gonna say he was too weak. Oh my and, life. And he stayed at 147. Too long. He would not stop. Okay. Crazy. Be careful what you're smoking on. As you live, hey, <laughs> as you live, who the hardest to hit by? Hey, look, every person that you name, ask him what I didn't do to him.
Ask who the artist been hip hop. It don't matter. If you drop them and I drop them, what that mean? They both got dropped. Ask who the artist been hip hop. They don't know. Nobody ever said you hit hard. They don't know. Nobody ever said. If you drop them and I drop somebody, they don't. know. Nobody ever said hit hard like this. I don't know. Ask anybody. Ask anybody. Ask anybody. I hit like 160, 160. And I hit like a heavyweight. They all drop. I'm like, I'm like, I'm Oh, boy. Y'all funny. Funny as hell. Talk to the man that make it happen. He ducked that question. We ain't going to answer that. And then you be having your entourage at the parade. You gonna know, crush them too? Bo Man. And then Bo Man be talking shit. Bo Man said I'm broke. Bo Man said I'm broke. Bo Man said I'm broke. You said you got to say you said I'm broke. Bo Man be talking mad shit, boy. God damn. Yeah, Bo Man be trying to put it out there. Man, you know, y'all know I'm talking that shit. I'm just talking that corn. Cause I'm gonna break, I'm gonna break, I'm gonna break his will, I'm gonna break his mental, his physical. Shit, I probably broke his spiritual. Mm. I'ma break everything. You know, I'm a he gonna be he gonna be broken. It's gonna be the first time. It's like <coughs> it's like them trying to it's gonna be like them trying to break Kuta Kente. Damn. <laughs> Kuta was a rough nigga. <laughs> yeah. you know, Kuta took it was, a lot of slaps out of Big Gay to fuck up. Get his foot caught off all that. It's, but he's a great man too, but I'ma break him. And I'm going to show everybody why I am the best fighter in boxing, period. Well, it's not that good. Um, you know, Regis stopped him in the first round, too. Regis stopped him in the first round, too, man. Like, who who that got beat to be a two-time world champion? He beat two champions. Who? Who? He beat... <laughs> Troy Noski and he beat R Ricky Burns, which was a three-time world champion. Troy who? Come on now, man. Come on, bro. And, and I think he went to Russia man, and come beat on. him. And I think he went to Scotland and beat him. Then come on, man. he tried to be great and come to Omaha and beat me. I don't think you fought nobody that was a two-time world champion. When he ever champion. been tested, he got stopped. I don't think you, was, you ever fought a champion that was two-way two divisions, right? It, it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. all, the, all the titles I took, I took okay. from the champions. So what you saying? Okay. Every title I took, Sean Porter, he was champion. A he was a one-time, one-way champion. It don't matter. I'm taking it. Okay. I'm taking it. Well, you got the opportunity to Like I said, to take you line them up, I'm going to knock them down every time. It don't matter what happens. Personal life, whatever. Man. Hey, man, give me him. You sure you want him? Yeah, this is easy work. Get him this, out of there. This ain't no easy hey, work Hey, you want him? Yeah. Oh, I know it's not easy work. Uh -huh. I definitely know it's not okay. easy work. Okay. Just I definitely sure. know that. Just make sure. That, I ain't that naive. Right. I'm realistic. Okay. I love this I because... Respect. I like to go fishing. Everybody know th those are my hobbies. Man, that's cat. He's not catching me with no fishing pole, hey, listen. man. I'm the biggest. You listen. can't catch me with no fishing pole. Listen. What it look like catching Moby Dick with a fucking hey. fishing pole, hey. man? Hey. Out here, they all smoke bud. I, I, y all, y all, hey. You already know how that go. It's hey. legal in Vegas, too, so we're going to smoke your ass up. Hey, y'all do It's legal in Vegas, smoke too, so we're going to smoke. We're going to roll you up and smoke you up, too, man. Y'all hey. get Hey, y'all get that new buzz strand, man. Hey, but you know the crazy part about it? I'm gonna lie, Tyrant got the best matchmakers in the business. You ain't fought nobody, man. You haven't beat anybody undisputed at 140. Who you fought at 135, and who you fought at 147. Even you fought Sean Porter. Even Sean Porter said, "What did he, I do to Sean did, Porter that you couldn't?" Sean do? Porter say, even said what he did, he did not Sean train Porter like he should. He didn't do the do. things that his daddy told him to do. What are you he's, talking about? Even his daddy hurt. said it. Even his daddy said it. You but heard that I got the Even his daddy said it. You but heard. Even Kev Brook, he was already broken. So was he broken you when you fought about? him? No, he wasn't broken. How come he I was? broke the other eye. He came off of I broke the other eye. Yeah, that's how stoppage. I got broke. That's how I got broke. He, he came off a of stoppage. What does it matter? He came off a of stoppage what, and then he fought you. Months, what does it what does it matter? Months prior. What so does it matter? So was he broken or not? No, he, he wasn't broken. No, he wasn't broken. Yeah, you're right. You're right. What are you talking about? I had the same surgery he had, and what happened? So what they say about you then? You fight me then? I'm going to break the other <laughs> So what they, what they say? So I'm broken then, right? Well, you broken then. You're going to be broken. <laughs> be a one-sided ass with me. I mean, he going to come in with the mentality, and, you know, it's going to probably take a few rounds, but he's a stubborn dude. So, but 
we're going to, like I said, man, everybody get broke. We're going to break him, man. We're going to break him like a horse. But the main thing is, you know, I just want to shut people up, especially the people behind me talking about their goldfish shit. Knowing, hey, knowing this strat season, man down, and we're going we gonna to crawfish boil another guy come Saturday night. And my skills are superior. Yeah, he's yeah, he's talented. You know, he got God gifted ability, but we talk about skill set, we talk about what my coach teach. And that's why he is a trainer year, because what he teach, you know, he, he don't have fire with just just talent. He teach fundamentals, he teach sound basic. And that's what he's gonna find out that that I do have great defense, I do have great offense, I do have great stamina, I have all the above, I just don't have talent. What's poppin' y'all? You back with the coolest dude on YouTube, man. The Spiffy Bro for 54. We back with another reaction video. Hey, this one right here, though, man. I know y'all seen that shit yesterday, dog. The all the ballers, y'all, y'all. I know y'all ordered that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ordered it. Now I was. I got Showtime. My shit active. But what it is is when I was about to do it, I think the fight was already gone. Cause I looked on YouTube, then it was already like rounds like going. So I was like, no, nah, I ain't gonna order that. And then boom, and it actually went wrong. So it's like this, if I would have ordered it, it's like, as soon as I probably would have ordered it, they would have took the money on my car, fight would have been over it. Then it's like, damn, I wasted 84 bucks. I could have bought like mini sacks with that. You know what I'm saying? Some tissues, some, something, you know what I'm saying? Some beans, greens or something. But I got a chance to still watch the fight, though, into its entirety, though. But Pete Gang, though, this is what this is about, though, man. Errol Spence, Darren Crawford, man, they was basically, like, had a chat a long time ago, man. You know what I'm saying? And they were, like, leading up to this particular fight right here because I guess somebody kept dodging somebody. We don't know who was doing this shit. We don't know who was scared. We know Darren Crawford wasn't scared. He just, I guess, had to climb up the ladder because he was the underdog. Because I look at it like this. Errol Spence had three belts. Dog had one. So that means that Terrence Cross was the underdog because they wouldn't expect him to win because he got three belts. He the shit. He ain't lost either. He going to whoop his ass because he taller than dog. Man, fuck all that, man. Y'all got to stop thinking like that, man. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. So I'm finna let y'all get into the shit talking right quick. Then we go check out like the rounds that took place. 
then we're gonna see the aftermath and let them speak after the first speech like how it went down and the lesson today with this right here is don't talk shit. you know what i'm saying it's like be a person that you just sit back and you can just listen to somebody talk shit to you and you basically like okay that's cool all right i got you but don't be like they're gonna knock your head off and kill your family and boom don't do all that because you can get in the ring things gonna go bad man i ain't gonna talk y'all to life man i love y'all hey man i'm almost at that 5k man and i appreciate everybody that's been stopping by man i promise y'all i love you from the bottom of my heart man real talk it's 12 30 i could be going to sleep right now my wife going to sleep i could be in the bed man but i'm doing this for y'all so we finna get it in man without no further ado and we finna go on and uh see the first little get down which we want to see the shit talking. So let's get that in, man, and then we're going to go to everything else. I'll let your boy, no commercials, no nothing. Let's go. That body shot, man. I'm not, I'm not stop you. I'm going to stop you. That shit going to be easy work. I promise you. I'm it don't matter. I'm going to knock you out, bro. Oh, you been hurt. That's fact. You got hurt by Gambo. You got hurt by Gambo. Yeah. You got hurt by Gambo. You got hurt by Gambo. Who have I got hurt by Gambo? And you got hurt by Gambo. And you got hurt by Gambo. When? You see, we see you get wobbly, You know what I'm saying, man? So what we gonna do, we gonna go to the next get down now. This is where the fight went down. It went up to, I think, eight or nine rounds, no, seven or eight rounds, something like that. Man, the homies were talking about it. I knew it was gonna go like just at least that. But now we finna get into the rounds, man, and um, see what y'all think, man. Let's get it. Second round, Terrence Crawford dropped Errol Spence Jr. in unexpected moment who shocked the world. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't never seen Errol Spence like really, really fall like that though, man. I ain't never seen him fall like that. I seen him get hit, you know what I'm saying? You gonna get hit. I ain't seen him fall like that though. That I mean, come on, man. Seventh round again, Terrence Crawford dropped Errol Spence Jr. again Terrence Crawford dropped Errol Spence Jr. and the referee decide to stop the fight. Terrence Crawford won by technical knockout against Errol Spence Jr. to see what talking about. Thank you for your journal. Um, how would you contextualize or describe Terrence's power and when did you really get a feel for it for the first time tonight? Um, I got a feel for his power. Probably like first, second round. Um, you know, he's a strong dude, but you know, everybody at this top level have some type of power. But um, I think 
because <clears throat> my time was out. He was catching me in between shots. Errol, uh, Kevin Ioli from Yahoo Sports. My question would be, your face was swelling up really badly. Were you having difficulty seeing as the fight progressed? Hey, I never even seen his face swole like that. Real talk, though. And then I know he was in a little accident, though. If y'all ain't never seen the accident, dog was in the Ferrari or whatever. He flipped over a gang of time. Fucked up himself. He fucked himself up, though. So I commend him for even taking a fight on the caliber of a dude like Bud. That's real talk, though. I don't know if y'all ever seen that, but you know what I'm saying? I should have brought that footage to the play, too, though, to let y'all see that somebody that went through that. When, when us, we go through regular little pains, and we just can't do it no more. Dog recovered, trained, got out there, still was able to get his fight on. You know what I'm saying? It went bad, but I'm just saying, man. And Earl Spence, that's my guy. You feel me? I love all the boxers, but you got your favorites, man. And Terrence Crawford, a beast, man. Remind me of like a 19, 20 year old me, like, you know what I'm saying? Or any one of my relatives, cause we all knew how to get in. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. We was taught how to really get down and fight. You know what I mean? But I'm gonna let dog finish it off, man, because hey, this is this this was beautiful right here, man. Now we gotta keep it going, man. Y'all hey, y'all keep pushing the narrative, man. We need all mega fights, man. All we wanna see all the best to see the best. That's it. All right, Errol, come on, man. Hey, look at his face. And y'all look at his speech. And look at how he looked from when he first was like, I'm going to knock you out. I promise you, I'm going to knock you out. Hey, look, I'm going to tell y'all, dog. Don't just do that to anybody. You don't know what they've been through. Let's go. Oh, uh, no. No, I wasn't having to put the scene at all. I'm, I'm sorry. I said, no, I, I didn't have difficulty seeing it all. Okay. And then lastly, did you feel when the fight started, like, did you feel good or did you feel like it was, you know, maybe one of those nights? Um, I felt cool. I thought, you know, I, I could um, definitely do enough to, uh, to win the fight, but I feel good. And like I said, I'm not here to, to make any excuses. I'm a grown man. Um, I decided to agree to the weight and get down to it, and that's what I did, so... Say no, no excuses. Hats off to the champion tonight. Harold, right. straight back. Dan Raphael from Big Fight Weekend. I wanted to know, uh, I know you, it's only a few minutes removed from the end of the fight. How do you think you're going to deal with this going forward tomorrow, next week? Are you the kind of guy that's going to just bad night, shake it off, and all is good? Or are you going to you know, stew over this for a while and it's going to hurt bad? <laughs> uh, no, nah, I'm not going to stew over it at all. Um, I did what I was um, supposed to do, regardless of you know the outcome or anything like that. Like I said, I was gonna do something, and I promised everybody I was gonna do it. So I did it as a man. I stood up on my word. So I'm definitely not gonna uh, soak over this. I'm gonna get right back and uh, get to it. Hope. Hey man, hey. See, least he, least he fessed up to it. You know what I'm saying? At least he was like, I told people I was going to do it. Whoop, and it, it just don't happen like that. So what it means is it's basically like when it comes to fighting and then you're about to fight another human, it's like shut your mouth. You know what I'm saying? Plus, you know, seeing the archives, you know, seeing what they can do. Now, you can do what you do, but you don't know what that person can do to you. You know what I'm saying? Just because you fought those people and beat them, it wasn't him. Y'all got a, hey, a beacon of light that never dim. I'm telling you, man. Hey, we're going to get it in, man, and finish it off, man. But, hey, dog looked terrible after that fight, man. I ain't never seen, like, really too many people look that bad after a fight to be champion like that, though. Real talk, though. Let's go, though. Definitely not going to uh, soak over right, this. Baby. I'm going to get right back and uh, get to it, hopefully at uh, 154 pounds. And, uh, Errol, even though... I mean, we know how big of a fight this was. Everybody talked about the historical significance of this fight all through the buildup, all for the last several years as we waited for it to happen. I wonder if it's happened, you go on the losing side of this one. Can you, can you, does it at least give you some solace to know that you gave the boxing public something that they had wanted for so long, even though obviously it didn't go your way? Uh, definitely, definitely. It was exciting. I hope build up to it. 
and leading up to it too. So it's something that you know I wouldn't I wouldn't change for nothing, and um, I'm definitely open to the to the rematch, and uh, hopefully it'll be at 154 pounds. <laughs> So P game, y'all. So hey, right. now they was at one forty something or whatever. He got smashed. So now he want to go up a little bit more so he could get a little thicker, a little one fifty four to the good. Taz Bud said, "Okay, I eat. I'll get up there too." You know what I'm saying for the rematch. You know what I mean? Because the rematch gonna go down. But P game though, Bud gonna do the same shit. <laughs> it's like. Think of what you you ain't gonna do no better. You was the best already. Three belts hanging from your seat. You got in there and you looked it like an amateur dog. It's on oh, my mama. I would have got in there and like, bah, bah. like, bah, 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 bah. like, boom, like, you know, man, I'm not playing, homie, and I'm 54. Just let me just no smoke, no way. Train for months. I got a gang of people behind me. My city and shit. Anybody can do this shit, man. I'm going to tell y'all, dog. What give me inspiration is not nobody else in the world. I ain't talking about no army, man. No, none of that shit. Even though they protect the country and all that. What give me inspiration is the new fighters right now today. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, um, Deontay Wilder. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Andy Ruiz. Um, let me see. Um, Anthony Joshua. Um, the Charlo Twins. Um, that J Jerron Booth Ennis. Um, the list goes on with the fighters, though, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's like all them niggas is like way younger than the niggas. But the skills they possess, if I train, I know I can do that shit on that caliber. So if them niggas that can say I'm the best in the world and they little kids to me, why well, I can't think like that? Because I'm old? Because I'm older? Or whatever, nigga, that's, that's your brain, nigga. Y'all better get that in your brain. Let your brain be your pain medicine, man. Y'all got to stop playing with that, man. So what I'm going to do is like, uh, you know what I'm saying? We finna get up out of here, man. I'm going to let the little credits roll off, man. And look, it was a great fight. We're looking forward to the next one, man. I'm telling you. Sharpen your motherfucking knuckles up, homie. You know what I'm saying? I got some. I got a little bit. But the knuckles, when it do what it do, it do what it do. And I know how to stick my knuckle out. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to show y'all something. Stick a knuckle out. And then you stick it out immediately when you get near the eye. When you get near the eye, that's when the knuckle come out. Because you can hit somebody with an open fist. You're going to hit them up here. And right here, you can give them a black eye. If you stick that knuckle out, you can punch the eye inward. You know what I'm saying? Yeah.